hypnosis with real clients facing genuine issues. Brought to you by the hypnotherapist demanded by celebrities, CEOs and even royalty, Adam Cox. These recordings took place live from Adam's Clinic in London's world-famous Harley Street. So, get yourself comfortable and enjoy today's episode of The Hypnotist. So, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a feeling of calm and relaxation. And as you exhale, just close those eyelids. Now, that's it. Breathing in a feeling of calm and relaxation. And exhaling. Any tension, any stress, any anxiety. That's it, going deeper and deeper. Breathing in that feeling of resourcefulness. And exhaling. Anything like overwhelm or stress, things that are blocking you in some way, making you feel more resourceful as you breathe in and just releasing what you don't need. That's right. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine, imagine you are in a luxurious house, a luxurious house of a successful businesswoman. A self-made businesswoman, perhaps from Scotland. And I want you to imagine that you are in that house and you have that house entirely for yourself. And maybe, maybe the house is in Scotland or maybe it's in the Caribbean or perhaps somewhere else. But I want you to get a sense that you have been invited to this particular house as a guest. And I want you to imagine that there is an area with a pool and a spa area, perhaps, perhaps a sauna, a steam room, maybe even some kind of hot tub or jacuzzi. And in this environment, there's something about this environment, the water, the surroundings that just makes you feel relaxed. And as you feel relaxed, I want you to find the most relaxing place in this luxurious spa inside the house of a very successful businesswoman. And I don't know if you'll be relaxing in one of those lounges by the pool or perhaps in the jacuzzi or perhaps deciding to swim in the water. But when you found a place a place where you can feel relaxed and a place that is safe enough for you to just relax and even have a nap there. Just let me know by nodding your head. That's it. And I want you to imagine that it isn't just a relaxing place. Just imagine there is ambient music taking you deeper and deeper relaxed. Notice that in this place, your breaths are getting slightly deeper each and every breath just a tiny bit deeper than the one before, enabling that additional oxygen to just give you that mental clarity. And there's something interesting that happens because the deeper you breathe and the more oxygen you have, the more effectively the brain works and the better and easier it is to create detailed imagery within your mind's eye. And not just imagery, sound, smells, tastes and feelings are all there, almost like you are living in one of those hallucination chambers where you can imagine things so vividly that they feel real, just as they do in a dream. Because you remember dreaming. While you're dreaming, it feels real, and it's only when you wake up that it becomes so obvious that you were dreaming when you were. But while you're dreaming, even the most crazy, remarkable things feel possible in the moment. That's right. Deeper and deeper relax. And I want you to make yourself comfortable in this place, somewhere in this spa area. As you continue to breathe in, I want you to position your body in the most comfortable way for you to enjoy being in this spa area. Continue to breathe in and breathe out. And very soon I'm going to count down from 10 to 1. And you will imagine falling asleep there in that spa area. And let's go on that journey now. 10. 
breathing in and breathing out and letting go any tension. Nine, feeling that neck and your shoulders are just loosening and letting go of any anxiety, any stress. That's right. Eight, just feeling that you're able to breathe deeper and deeper, letting go of any and all tension. That's it. Seven, arms, feeling loose, feeling light, or perhaps feeling heavy. That's it. And imagine just all that tension draining all the way down to the tips of your fingers. And then imagine passing through the tips of the fingers. Imagine the tension leaving your body so much. That's it. Six, feeling a desire to yawn. That's it. Five, as you breathe in and breathe out, feel the resourceful feeling going in and any anxiety or tension leaving your body, any overwhelm leaving your body, any sadness or sorrow leaving your body. That's it. Five, feeling it there in your gut now as your gut, your intestines all loosen and relax. That's it. Because there is a time and a place where your guts need to be tight to give you some kind of warning or intuitive sign that something isn't right, but now is not that time. Allow them to relax now. That's it. Four, feeling that rela relaxation going into your legs. That's it. Legs getting heavier and heavier. That's it. And three, feeling deeper and deeper, relaxed. That's it. Deeper and deeper, relaxed. And two, feeling like you're about to nod off to a deep, deep sleep. That's it. And imagine doing that now. One, as you can imagine, falling asleep falling asleep there in that spa area in a safe way that's it and imagine that you've nodded off into such a deep sleep that you can have that time distortion and imagine that you've been asleep for a while and now you're dreaming that you are in the same house that's it That's it. You can imagine being in the same house, but now you are inside the dream version of you. That's it. The dream version of you, seeing yourself there fast asleep in that spa area. And I want you to go, I want you to go to a different area in the house. And I want you to imagine going into the house, into a particular place where the kitchen is. And I want you to see in this kitchen, there is a wide variety of foods. But the interesting thing is, even in this environment, there is such huge amounts of choice. But notice, notice in this place, in this mind, in this body, I want you to feel what it feels like that no matter what environment you're in, no matter who you are with or where you are, you have the ability to make choices that align with taking you towards the ideal future version of you. And if your unconscious mind is happy to accept that you will always have temptations, there will always be environments or people or reasons as to why you can eat whatever food is around. And yet, environment doesn't mean choices. Because there is always environments in every single house that you've ever visited there is always bleach under the sink, perhaps in the kitchen or the bathroom. And yet, even if that is in your environment, there is no desire for you to drink that bleach. And in the same way, from this point onwards, you can be in any environment. But just because you are in an environment where you are surrounded by alcohol or carbohydrate foods or processed foods, doesn't mean that you have to consume those because what's more important than your environment are the actions that you take and we are unlocking your ability to take actions and behaviors that align with the person that you want to be your vision of your future and I want you to imagine imagine going now into the bedroom where there is a full-length mirror 
only in this full-length mirror, you are seeing the future version of you. And if you can see that future version of you, where what you've lost in weight, you've gained in confidence, just let me know by nodding your head. That's right. That future version of you is aligned with the person that you can be. I want you to look at your body, in your body, and consider this the before, and in the mirror that you see that represents your future, this is your after. You now have a clear, compelling vision for your future, and you have unlocked all of the capabilities that will enable you to achieve that future. So whichever environment that you are in, a restaurant, a friend's house, perhaps even in your own kitchen, just because your environment is offering you certain things doesn't mean that you have to make those choices. From this point onwards, you will make choices that align with the future version of you not the current version of you. Because there was a time that this person's house that you're visiting right now, that their identity could have matched their immediate environment, the street or the city that they grew up in. Except they made decisions based on their future identity of what they wanted to be. And likewise, you will make decisions aligned not with who you are now but aligned with who you are becoming because decisions in the present create your destiny of the future and if your unconscious mind accepts that the better choices and decisions you make in the present the more you will unlock the ideal optimal future version of you the vision of you that you want to become just let me know by nodding your head that's right because the environment does not make the person. The environment simply gives you, gives you an area in which for you to make choices based on what you truly value. And you have so many abilities and capabilities. There have been so many times in your life that you've had the ability to make great choices when it comes to food. You've had so many times that you had the ability, had the ability to stop eating certain foods and replace them with other foods. You already know how to lose weight. All this is doing is unlocking that ability for you to take action. A very famous woman once says, when you know better, you do better. And sometimes you're reminding yourself of what you know. And as you know better, you will make better choices. Regardless of whatever environment you're in or people that you are around. And you have the ability to remember all those yoga or Pilates moves that you spent many, many hours improving on. And those neural pathways to exercise in that way still exist. They say that you never forget how to ride a bike. And there are so many things that you will never forget. And sometimes all you have to do is to get back on that bike, have a little wobble, and then it all comes flooding back. And I don't know if it will take minutes or half an hour for all of those memories of how to exercise in a way that you truly enjoyed and made your body stronger and fitter and healthier will all come flooding back. I just know that whether it's a minute or 10 minutes or half an hour or an hour, when it all comes flooding back, you'll remember just how good it made you feel to make that constant progress. And you can remember that when you did certain exercises, not necessarily walking or running, but certain exercises that it made your body stronger and it changed how you breathe. And by changing how it breathed, it changed how fast your heart rate went. 
and all along it was training your body to burn fat. And those capabilities of your past are just like those people that haven't ridden a bike perhaps for many, many years. It all comes flooding back. And I want you to notice here in this house what you value. You value friendship. You value accomplishment. You value control. But not control in the malicious way, control in the ability to control your choices. Because your confidence is always at its highest when you make decisions that influence you becoming the best possible version of you. So you don't have to lose weight in order to have huge amounts of confidence. You can have huge amounts of confidence simply by making great choices and great decisions. Because you already know. The more of these great choices and great decisions you make, that it's taking you towards this very future that you aspire to anyway. So wouldn't it be good to feel confident now by making these great choices rather than feeling that you have to lose weight to have that confidence. Every time you choose to eat something healthy or exercise your body in a certain way or just to drink more water, every choice will make you feel that tiny bit more confident, that tiny bit more in control of your life. And that creates a snowball effect because it's easier to make the hundredth and third great choice in a day than it is to make the very first great choice of the day. The more great choices you make, the easier it is to make even more great choices and healthy decisions. And you value those healthy decisions. That's why you're listening to my voice right now. Because that part of you that aspires to be the healthiest, most energetic, most confident version of you knows that you have everything required to make that a reality much sooner than you think. And those values that you value are now organizing themselves in a way in which it will help you to believe whatever you need to believe, to make choices that you need to make that will align to this future version of you where you get to feel absolutely amazing. Knowing that you don't need to be perfect. Because I want you to think about this person whose house you're in right now. Their success doesn't come from perfection. It comes from helping women represent a confident version of themselves. It's all about confidence and self-esteem. It's all about problem solving. It's all about becoming the best possible version of you. First for yourself and then for others. And I want you to imagine. Imagine somewhere in this house is a large, a large portrait picture of the owner, perhaps someone that you admire, perhaps someone that you respect. And I want you to see two pictures, a picture of them, perhaps when they were overweight, and now a, a current picture when they've lost the weight. And in the first picture, they had all of the resources that could enable them to lose weight but they weren't making the choices that activated those resources. Whereas in that second picture where they've lost the weight, they simply made choices that unlocked those powerful resources like discipline, determination, consistency. And I want you to imagine stepping into that portrait, the portrait of this very successful businesswoman that has lost all that weight. And I want you to feel, feel that you are tapping into her resources, her beliefs. 
And I want you to get a sense of absolute conviction, complete self-belief that you now have the ability to lose weight in a healthy way that gives you feelings of confidence and satisfaction, not when you get to the end, but during the journey. And I want you to feel where you feel those resources and just point to them, almost like they're a physical vibration inside your body. Because maybe it's your heart, maybe it's your head, maybe it's your gut. But I want you to locate where those incredible resources are within you. That determination, that consistency, that self-belief. Notice how good it feels to be absolutely convinced that you've got the ability to lose the weight. Because there's too many examples in your life of where you could have given up but you chose not to. Unlock that resource now. Feel it within you. And then point to exactly where you feel that resourceful feeling that this is possible for you. resourceful feeling is getting bigger and bigger if it feels like it's moving I want it to move even faster and to begin with it might be just a tiny spring releasing a trickle of those resources but huge rivers start from a tiny spring unlock all of those resources necessary for you to have the ideal body shape That's it. Tap into that feeling now. And then I want you to get a sense of who you are. Who you are with these feelings of resourcefulness. Step out of that picture. Step out of that picture, but take the resources with you. Because you know it's possible. Because you've seen it happen. And what was possible for someone else is now possible for you. You are unlocking all of the resources necessary, all of those values, capabilities, beliefs, actions, so that no matter what environment you're in and whatever people you're around, you have everything that you need to make excellent choices. And the more choices you make that are great, that align with that future vision of yours, the more that it is easier to make more of those kind of choices. And isn't it interesting that choices that were originally conscious become unconscious? The first time that you drove a car, you had to make a choice to indicate when you were turning left or indicate when turning right. And now you make the same choices, the same decision, but completely unconsciously. It just happens all by itself. And I want you to make a decision to make at least a hundred healthy choices a day. And that might be just drinking a glass of water, having a stretch, taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out, perhaps doing some yoga or going for a short walk. Each one of these counts as a conscious, healthy decision. And you'll find it so interesting that these decisions just start happening all by themselves. You'll forget to count and net do these healthy things anyway. Because once the unconscious mind figures out the game is to make healthy choices, it will start playing that game all by itself. Because you have a vision for the future version of you. You've seen yourself in that mirror. You know, you know what you will look like and also other people's response to you, and it feels good. And I want you to imagine now walking back, back down into the spa area, seeing the pool, seeing the sauna and steam room, 
the jacuzzi and then seeing you fast asleep. And I want you to imagine climbing back into yourself, but taking all of those resources, all of those strategies with you. Now, that's it, deeper and deeper relaxed. And then you realize this is a dream within a dream, a thought within a thought, and that you are not. You're not inside the spa room of a mansion, a luxurious house. You're in a chair or somewhere else listening to my voice right now in your own skin, in your own body, listening to me. And in a few moments time, I will count from one to 10 to awaken you. You will awaken feeling highly resourceful that the past is the past and tomorrow is a brand new day. You will feel highly motivated to make great choices, knowing that the more great choices you make, the easier it is for your unconscious to make those great choices for you. You will awaken feeling highly resourceful, highly optimistic, very positive, feeling fantastic because you've already made so many great choices, consciously and unconsciously, and that is unlocking more and more good feelings and confidence and self-esteem. Starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. Thank you for listening to The Hypnotist with Adam Cox, the show that gives you inside access to cutting edge hypnosis with real clients facing genuine issues. To automatically receive the latest episodes, please subscribe. If you'd like to support the show, please share this episode with just one friend you think it could help. And if this episode helped you, please leave us a five-star review.